Welcome to Bandis, the show where I watch the film with the sole purpose of getting ridiculously offended and trying to come up with the reason why someone might want to ban this. Today, I've got 1980s Dressed to Kill. Now, why would somebody want to ban this? Well, there are some obvious things, like there is some violence. Not a lot, but there is some. There is a very much of a sexuality throughout the film, which could be off-putting for some. But the biggest thing would be coming from more of a leftist point of view in that this film is clearly very, very transphobic and demi demonizes transsexuals as deviant homicidal maniacs. And, this, and transsexuals, they have very little representation to begin with. So, having one of the few that they have being there, being having them portrayed as, like I said, homicidal maniacs, is no way for one of the most marginalized groups there is to be betrayed. That's about it. Now, what do I think of this film? If Hitchcock were to have made a giallo, this is very much something that you could get. And this film is very heavily inspired by Psycho. In fact, some of the themes of the transsexuality and whatnot are themes that were present to a degree, in Psycho. Just here, it's brought up to its logical conclusion as far as it can. The setup, the, the way the events play out, it's similar to Psycho. And there's the, the scene towards the end where explaining the villain's psycho mental condition and explaining all that. It's very similar to Psycho. And the kind of somewhat ridiculousness, well, it could be perceived as ridiculous reasoning for the killing, is very much reminiscent of a lot of the reasonings that we would get behind motivations in Giallo's, which this also feels much like. I don't know what that was. It's October. Yeah. This has very much of a giallo vibe. That it does have some violence. It's not as violent as a typical giallo. But when we do get it, it is pretty visceral and in your face. And this was a pretty good solid flick. It's got some of the Hitchcockian moments where long sequences without dialogue to add tension. It's got the violence and sexuality of giallos and some other trappings which are also prominent in a lot of Hitchcock of the investigation being primarily done by someone outside of the law. Yeah, definitely this is a fun little thriller to check out if you're so inclined. I'll see you later, and if you're watching this on Google, I feel sorry for you, and I suggest you check me out on BitChute, and if you're seeing us in BitChute, you're awesome, and also feel free to see me on Minds, which is going to be pretty much my only real social media platform, other than the video sharing sites. So I'll see you later, and don't get too offended.